Hi you guys, do you like my messy hair? It is just wonderful, ain't it? Okay, so like it's three o'clock in the morning, but this video is on my heart. So uh, I'm gonna make the video and not go search for my brush. And I've got paint all over my shirt because I got into acrylic painting. Okay, so let's make the video now. <laughs> okay, this is a great video like I say about all my videos. Okay, anyways, okay. Breathe. Okay. I want to encourage you guys not to waste the joy of the Lord and to realize what a powerful and powerful and precious gift it is to have the joy of the Lord. Lately, I have been in a funk. I have been in a hole that I couldn't climb out of and I was praying to God and I was not hearing from God. I did not feel the Lord's presence. I just felt misery, depression, and like just like, oh, mon mundane life, like the same thing every day. Like, oh, like, oh, like I have to live for how long? <laughs> like, please take me home. <laughs> like, I'm telling you guys, I was in the slumps. And God is just starting to restore me as of today. Um, so let me share a little testimony. Today when I was at the ministry that I go to, somebody named uh, Maddie, I say the first name, maybe she'll watch my video. <laughs> okay, anyways, okay. Maddie, she was great. She sat down with me and at first, because I had these ideas in my head, uh, that nobody, like, cared about me there and that they don't like me. Like, these false ideas. Okay. And at first, I was very, like, closed off. And I didn't want to talk to anybody. I was just like... And then I was like, oh, like, I really, like, want to talk to somebody. So I ended up opening up to her and just... Blah! <laughs> everything came out. And I felt... I felt better and she great she gave me encouragement and she and she prayed for me and there was certain things that she said I didn't realize but I really needed to hear those things I'm telling you the Holy Spirit was working through her like there is things that we need spoken to us that we don't even understand we don't like I was in confusion I don't know what I need. I just need God to fix me. So, but there was certain things that she said during the prayer and stuff that just like helped me feel validated what I was going through. Like what I was going through was unjust. Like what I'm going through <laughs> is not just, but what Joseph went through was unjust. Like there was just certain things that she said just that really helped me. And all of a sudden after that conversation, I was happy. I have joy. I've got joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Where down in my heart, down in my heart to stay, to stay. So I have joy right now. And this is from God because I've been in the hole. I've been void of joy. I've been void of feeling God's presence. And, and it was just restored tonight. And that was from, like, spending a few minutes with somebody willing to sit down and, and pray with me and encourage me and just love me. And so I, I wanted to tell you guys, I have learned something. When I was feeling the joy of the Lord before and I would minister to people, I would do it because I loved teaching and just like, I just love doing it. But God has opened my eyes to another perspective. After being in the hole, uh, and then having somebody minister to me and really seeing the f fruit of that ministering, like having my joy restored and, and just how much it has really helped me, it makes me realize um, I need to 
not glory in the joy that God gives me or just be like, oh, this is great. I just love this. Like me, just focusing on me. But hey, like to use my joy to go stomp out the depression in somebody else. Like when I am up in the spirit, when I am like not in the valley, like, okay, some Christians are in our walk. We go through the valleys. Were they not fun? And we go through the hilltops and they're fun. But the valleys are not fun. And us Christians are all in different areas. Some of us are in the valley and some of us are on the hilltop. So next time when I'm on the hilltop, next time when you are on the hilltop and you have the joy of the Lord in your heart and you feel the presence of God, don't like just focus on your joy. Like use your joy to stomp out that the things that are going on in in the person in the valley just spending like look for somebody who's feeling down look look around the room don't just be focused on yourself like look around the room and see who's you know sitting off on the sidelines or who's like just you know you recognize it you've got spiritual discernment if you've got the holy spirit and, and, you know, pray to God to give you the words to speak and to lead you that to that person. And, and you don't need to know what to say. God will give you the words to say and, and, and reach out to them and, and just, just like, let me share a testimony. After God had restored me by talking with Maddie for a few minutes and my joy was restored I saw that uh, there was this girl, and she looked at me with like, like she didn't like me, and um, so I didn't get offended. Instead, I know that she's going through something because twenty minutes before I was feeling the same way. I didn't even want to talk, talk to Maddie, and, and I was like, no. And then I opened up, and I felt better. So I'm like, I know, I recognize that look. I had that twenty minutes ago. So I start, um, I, I talking to her, like, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm not so good. I'm like, well, you know, you do want to talk about it. Like, just trying to minister to her. And God used me. And then I, I prayed with her. And oh my gosh, I saw a difference. She seemed happier after that. And I think she felt more love. Like, I did. And that really helped me. So, like minister to people and don't focus in glory in the joy that God gives you but God gave you that joy for a reason so like we didn't he didn't create us to be just joy little bubbles like in a little bubble all by ourselves but to really like reach out to those people who are in the valley remember when you were going through the valley and someone spoke to you and helped you through a really hard time we're here to love one another. And part of loving one another is reaching out and talking with others and building relationships. And I know it's hard, but it's so necessary. God bless you guys. I hope you got something from this and have a wonderful day. Praise God if you did.